Central to Northside at Pine Level, Thelma, Smithfield, and Brogdon, Bentonville, Four Oaks, Meadow, Wilson's Mills, and Debian Fire Department. Blackman's Crossroads, Corn Polder, Cleveland, Clayton, Strickland's Crossroads Fire Department. Respond with your tanker reference. Tanker Task Force. Same will be a mock drill. If we have a major emergency and we see that we're going to have to bring in tankers, which a tanker apparatus is basically a truck that hauls water, there's a lot of situations where we have to do a water shuttle. In our district here in Kenley and in other parts of the county, that there's no fire hydrant. So in those situations, we're going to have to bring the water from a water source to the fire. Now we're headed to the fill point, and today we're using a static water point or a pond. We've got a Two fire trucks set up that are drafting or pulling water out of the pond and sending it and filling the tankers so that the tankers can take it to our dump site or our simulated fire site. When the truck sets up at the pond, typically there's like 20 feet of hose and there's like a strainer that floats. That is how they take water from the pond into the truck. So then once it goes into the fire pump on the truck, um, there is a hose that will run from the truck out to a manifold and we'll hook smaller lines to it. And the smaller lines are actually what we would connect to the tanker apparatus to fill the tanks up. We had two trucks sitting on a pond taking a draft flowing water. We had Rock Ridge set up on one end, they were flowing somewhere in the thousand gallon minute range. We set our truck up a little bit different. We, we prepared to flow large amounts of water. We prepared to flow big water. So we actually hooked a hard suction hose up to both sides of our pump, looped it back around into the water so we can draw water from both sides. We created two fill sites with our truck. So in a, in a sense, we had three total fill points set up. My position was pretty much just a tanker driver. Um, our role was going to the fill site and then driving to the dump site in a safer manner and dumping water. I was a tanker driver today. Uh, basically, shuttle water from site to the dump site and kept a continuous circle going. We're going to go back in town and we'll take a look at the dump site or where we would haul the water to in order to get it to the, the fire attack engine. So the, the truck would come in, say if it was my truck, it would be Beth and Engine 3 is, is our, that we use as our tank. And then we had five different tanks and they were in order and had them in line and numbered them one through five. And if the truck would come in, we would tell them what number to back up to and they would back up to it, dump the water and then go off to get refilled. So before there was tanker task force uh, utilized, the incident commander found himself just trying to figure out, if, figure out how much water did they need and where could they get it from? You know, which, which departments had tankers, who could provide those, and that had to be an on the fly decision in the heat of battle, so to speak. Now everything is, is very well scripted so that they can know they need a resource so they can call for those resources without shooting from the hip. So what we do is, once you get on the scene of emergency, if you see a situation where you know that you're gonna need additional water, then the instant commander will just make that request through the 911 center. We already have the alarm levels that are built into the CAD system at the 911 center. So basically the only thing the instant commander has to do is just request a alarm level one for tanker task force. Communications already knows based off the information that we provide on what departments will be dispatched for the tankers and then they'll go ahead and they'll initiate the call. As far as our department goes, typically we train two or three times a month. But today's exercise was part of the quarterly Johnston County Tanker Task Force drills. So this is something that we started, I think, probably around three years ago, two to three years ago. Um, it's an opportunity to bring all 
the departments together to practice, to see how much water that we can flow, how much water we can supplement on the scene of a fire. We try to oversee our training and we get everybody's input on how we can better ourselves as a fire department and as a county whole and we're always striving to um, better ourselves. I think the exercise went very well. Um, as you can tell there's a lot of uh, preparation not only by the, the department that has hosted the event in the county but by the departments who participated in the event. Um, it, it was, you could tell this was not the first time that this, this group of people had been involved in, a, in, in water hall exercises. Uh, they were very well trained and very, it went very, very smooth. We were able to, to flow a good amount of water safely and efficiently and everything went very well today. I feel like it's going exceptionally well. Um, we, we practice this strive to practice it four times a year uh, just to make sure that we're staying up on our skills, uh, that we're identifying areas of improvement and then capitalizing on that. In my opinion, this particular exercise we just did went very well. I feel comfortable that at any given time we were flowing in excess of 3,000 gallons a minute filling up. Johnson County has done a lot in trying to make sure that our fire departments and our responders are well trained and have the equipment that they need. I do think Joko is in good hands. Johnson County is in good hands. I think Johnson County is in very good hands. Mm -hmm.